next one what's up guys Omar here broker and CEO Alden Mortgage and Omar Realty so we're gonna check out this other plan KB Homes let's check you guys plan number 2542 which to be honest with you I like the way that they uh, do their um, the plans like you know you go to these some new developments and they have the Italiante, Vachachi, whatever it is this the plan number 2542 is actually the square footage of the house so let's go ahead and get inside here and figure this guy out well, look at you, you traditional son of a gun, you, and these floors. You know what the best thing about a house is? As soon as you walk in, it's like this beautiful, just open, 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 light, bright. Like, it makes you feel like you just came directly out of home because, you know, we've reviewed a couple of different properties and the properties that we have, it's like dark and dungeony. It's like, it's like restoration just threw up inside of the house and you're like, fuck, dude, I just hate, I hate being so close. But as soon as you walk in, Coming off to the left hand side, left hand side we have this bedroom. This is going to be the first bedroom, of course you can make it into an uh, office or you can do everything. And like always remember, this will have doors. Coming off to the inside of the room you have yourself a nice little walk-in closet. Walk-in closet is doing its thing. And then you have your full bathroom that is right outside of the guest bedroom. It's actually done really 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 nicely, I like, uh, I like how the little what are those mosaic tiles or what are those little diamond shape or uh, whatever. Comment below, let me know what kind of tiles those are because I have no idea. You figure that I'd be in real estate for 20 years, I should know this shit, but I, I don't care. I usually let my wife handle this and I've only been married for five years. What did I do before? Whatever. Let's go ahead and walk in. As soon as you walk in, you have, well, this is nice and bright and goddamn comfortable. Okay, so you have your kitchen. The island, for a house this size, okay, for a house this size, personal opinion, just my opinion, this is a little bit smaller, the island is a little bit smaller than I am accustomed to with a house this big. Oh shit. But the overall layout of it, especially like you have these little floating shelves that you have over here and everything like that, I just, this is great. This is like a, what do you call this, like a, a farm style contemporary or whatever six burner stove and then this this guy right here is the most unappreciated thing in any single house ever grabbing a pot taking it from there and especially you i love you uh, making pasta right i'm a big pasta guy grabbing the pot and bring it over there and then bring it over here if you've never dropped a pot of water before it's a pain in the ass but this if you make a lot of pasta like i do this thing is great, you just pop it right over here and then psh, crank that bit, bitch open and then you're good to go. Sub-Zero fridge, this is one of those expensive ass fridges that I was talking about. If you go back to my other video beforehand, this son of a bitch is like ten, fifteen thousand dollars It's really, really expensive. Then you have your kind of like bar, wet bar area. It's like this little nook thing. You come in, it's like a pantry, not a pantry, I'm a pantry, I have no idea. And then off to the left hand side and then you have this nice all right, I think this is actually, um, I think I actually know where the sofa is. I think if, uh, this is like a living spaces type of thing. I think I've seen it. My wife and I were looking at it earlier. Then of course you have your trifold mirrors. Now trifold mirrors, they help out a lot. And then when, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh there we go. That was almost a fail. Now, I don't know if you could tell what this does. Like this might be a hard to tell what this does, but this is freaking amazing. You come straight out and it's like, it makes your house 20 times bigger just by having these trifold mirrors that come out. Now for instance, for scale, this is not big. This is very, very small as far as the pattern, but it's covered. So you could barbecue here anytime you want. You could come and hang out and just chill here. And then you have your fire pit, which fire pit covered. And that is really, really necessary, especially when it gets really, really hot out here. Of course, they put out their um, 
their uh, why am I blanking? A uh, grill out over there. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and see. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, garage access. I'm not gonna open it because I have a bunch of junk in there. Little linen closet. They put a vacuum cleaner. You gotta keep it clean. And then I'm not gonna bore you by going up the stairs because I complain a lot going up the stairs. <laughs> but let's get up there. All right, coming up to the top of the stairs. Now this, that's pretty, that's, that's a very, uh, that's actually pretty smart. Double TVs. Your wife wants to watch whatever reality show that she wants to watch, or your husband wants to watch a game and you get to watch whatever you want. It could actually, um, actually, it actually might be, could cause a fight. Imagine if you're watching one thing and then you have whatever show it is that your significant other watches, but, this is a must. This is where most of the time that everybody spends anyway. Then coming off to the left hand side, you have your bedroom here, little bunk bed, which by the way, I don't know if your kids are as bad as my kids, but that was really, really unsafe. <laughs> my kid threw himself off of it. I don't know what's wrong with that kid. Then you have the master bedroom right off of the loft and damn, this is a pretty big master bedroom. This is a really, really good size. Master. And I only say damn, it's big because obviously it's not the biggest one. But as far as cleaning and like uh, everything that you have that goes along with, with with having a master bedroom, this is a really good size. It's almost like a perfect size. I wish this was a little bit more open, but it is what it is. And then you have your uh, bathroom, this tub. Now, I don't know who's gonna fit in here. Now I am six foot, 175 pounds. And let me, can you guys see that scale? There we go. Like this. Uh, it's really, really. Uh, I guess it's good for just one person, but imagine if you have uh, somebody else in here. Oh, definitely. Oh, we're going. Jesus Christ, I'm getting old. Oh, uh, okay, let's get up and finish this guy. All right. Well, now that we know that the bathtub thing didn't really work out too well, let me fix you guys here for a second. There she is in all of her glory. But you have his and hers sinks right here, which, you know, his and her sinks are really, really cool. They're the best, except for the fact that you, these counters, it's almost better to have them split and separated. Uh, you could actually get that uh, done. They have these pre-made ones at like Home Depot you could go ahead and get. It comes with a uh, countertop and everything. It's actually a really, really ingenious idea and it's super inexpensive. It's super easy to go ahead and put in. But you have your stand-up shower, and then this is actually surprisingly a really big walk-in closet. Like I am arm's length out right now. I'm just doing this little fairy ballerina turtle thing and didn't touch anything. Coming on over out to the left-hand side. What is this guy? Oh, you got yourself a coat closet right there. And then I still don't know what the hell these things are. Like, is this is this what is this called a hutch? Is this a hutch? Like this thing that comes out with the cabinets or whatever. Then you have your hallway closet that is meant for the other two bedrooms, his and her sink. You have your nice little shower, which the tiles on this is actually really, really, really nice. The tile work on this is I like it. I think it's called like a chevron. Coming on over to the other bedroom. Well, that's interesting as shit. I've never seen somebody make a bed like that before where you do it this way. Like, you know how this thing, this little, um, you go to hotels and it's like flipped out like that. They did it long ways. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go over to the last bedroom. And then the last bedroom, I mean, it's nothing too big. It's not like, oh wow, this is such a huge bedroom. But I mean, it's a good sized bedroom. It's like a 10 by 10. It's got your nice little closet here. Nothing too big. I mean, for your kids, it's, it's all right. And then you have your laundry area. Well, I think that's about all we've done here, but let's go ahead and do a recap on this property. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and do a recap here. Uh, this is going to be the Westport at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane in San Pedro, California, 90732. This is actually gonna be the plan number 2542, and you guessed it, the square footage is 2,542 square feet. One second. Oh, 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. This is going to be the Westport at Point Vista, 27723 Rosewood Lane, San Pedro, California, 90732. Now this area, this area as a whole, this is, does there's uh, three builders. There's Taylor Morrison, there's KB Homes, and then there's um, Meritage Homes. The completion date for this community is not until 2024. So remember, when you do move in, when you do buy a house here, that it is gonna be about another two, two and a half years before you get a complete build out on all of it. So you're gonna be in a construction zone for a little bit. So this is gonna have an HOA of $450, and then you're gonna have a Melarus. I hate Melarus's, but it is what it is. If you wanna live in a place like this, which is, you know, it's really, really nice. San Pedro, it's like centrally located. It's 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 got all the glitz and glam. Uh, it's going to be, it doesn't really have that much glitz and glam, but it is centrally located. You have LAX, that's not too far, Santa Monica. You have, you're kind of like in the center of everything. They're gonna have a total of 60 homes that are gonna get built here, 24 are getting built out right now. And this is going to be the two story. It's gonna be five or six bedrooms because you could turn that loft upstairs into another bedroom if you wanted to, three bathrooms. Um, and then this is going to have a starting price of 1.334990. Now, like always, this doesn't include most of the stuff that you see here today. Most of the stuff that you see is all upgrades. Now, this is gonna be an additional cost to you. Remember that it is very expensive to go with the builder. Uh, but they do an amazing job and you don't have to worry about chasing down contractors. So it's like, do you take a little bit of a hit with peace of mind to go with the builder or do you go ahead and just go do it all on your own and then you do a little bit and then you're kind of like, you know, you buy a new home and then you're in a construction zone. So it's like a catch 22, you save a little bit, but it's like you got to do all this stuff unless you're like a handyman or a handy woman and you could do all this stuff yourself. DIY, YouTube and TikTok does a, a, a lot of great things. But there is one cost that I always forget and I don't know why and I dropped the ball and I, it's my apologies that all these homes require you to get solar. This is not in addition to, to the price of the house. Or this is, uh, yeah. So uh, you will have to add that in whenever you purchase it. So like always, if you want up to 50% commission rebate on this house, if you need any lending or mortgaging, you wanna get refi or anything that you wanna do, link in the description below. I'd be happy to help you out with any of it. Hell, if I can't beat the rate, if you, whatever, I can't beat it, whoever you're with. But if I can, save yourself money, I make a little bit, and we're all happy. Next property, let's get out of here.